John Calvin, on Psalm 24, verse 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. You ancient doors. David terms the gates ancient because the promise of God secured their continual stability. The temple excelled in materials and in workmanship, but its chief excellence consisted in this, that the promise of God was engraven upon it, as we shall see in Psalm 132, verse 14, quote, This is my rest forever, unquote. In terming the gates everlasting, the psalmist at the same time makes a tacit contrast between the tabernacle and the temple. The tabernacle never had any certain abiding place, but being from time to time transported from one place to another was like a wayfaring man. When, however, Mount Zion was chosen and the temple built, God then began to have there a certain and fixed place of abode. By the coming of Christ, that visible shadow vanished, and it is therefore not wonderful that the temple is no longer to be seen upon Mount Zion, seeing it is now so great as to occupy the whole world. If it is objected that at the time of the Babylonish captivity the gates which Solomon built were demolished, the answer is, God's decree stood fast, notwithstanding that temporary overthrow, and by virtue of it, the temple was soon after rebuilt, which was the same as if it had continued always entire.